Welcome to the Archihoa channel. Today's video is dedicated to introducing you to 58 professional terms related to architectural programming. This video is an invaluable resource for architecture students, practicing architects, and anyone with an interest in expanding their knowledge of architectural terminology, including English language learners. Let's start today's video right away. Architectural programming. Architectural programming. Architectural programming is the analysis and decision-making process that serves as the basis of design thinking and architectural practice, determining what should be designed. It acts as guidelines or criteria that architects and engineers follow to complete their professional work, guiding the scope and direction of the design project. This comprehensive process combines creativity, values, and practical aspects of design, ensuring that the resulting architectural solution aligns with the desired objectives and requirements. Architectural programming is the analysis and decision-making process that serves as the basis of design thinking and architectural practice, determining what should be designed. It acts as guidelines or criteria that architects and engineers follow to complete their professional work, guiding the scope and direction of the design project. This comprehensive process combines creativity, values, and practical aspects of design, ensuring that the resulting architectural solution aligns with the desired objectives and requirements. Client requirements. Client requirements. The specific needs, goals, and preferences expressed by the client for the building project. The specific needs, goals, and preferences expressed by the client for the building project. User needs. User needs. The essential requirements of individuals or groups who will utilize the building, such as occupants, employees, or visitors. The essential requirements of individuals or groups who will utilize the building, such as occupants, employees, or visitors. Site analysis. Site analysis. Examination of physical, environmental, and contextual factors to inform design decisions and understand site potential. Examination of physical, environmental, and contextual factors to inform design decisions and understand site potential. Matrix Diagram Matrix Diagram A graphical representation that displays relationships and interactions between various architectural spaces or elements. A graphical representation that displays relationships and interactions between various architectural spaces or elements. Bubble Diagram Bubble Diagram A visual representation used in architecture to illustrate spatial relationships and functional arrangements. A visual representation used in architecture to illustrate spatial relationships and functional arrangements. Qualitative and quantitative analysis. Qualitative and quantitative analysis. A method that assesses and studies space attributes and quality, guiding design and planning decisions comprehensively. A method that assesses and studies space attributes and quality, guiding design and planning decisions comprehensively. Space allocation. Space allocation. The process of assigning and distributing available space for different functions or purposes. The process of assigning and distributing available space for different functions or purposes. Functional zoning. Functional zoning. The division of a building or site into different areas or zones based on their specific functions or activities. The division of a building or site into different areas or zones based on their specific functions or activities. Building codes. Building codes. Building codes establish minimum standards for safety, health, and quality in constructing, altering, and occupying buildings. Building codes establish minimum standards for safety, health, and quality in constructing, altering, and occupying buildings. Needs assessment. Needs assessment. The process of identifying and evaluating the requirements and objectives of the building project. The process of identifying and evaluating the requirements and objectives of the building project. Circulation. Circulation. Circulation in architecture refers to the movement and flow of people, goods, or information within a building or space. Circulation in architecture refers to the movement and flow of people, 
goods or information within a building or space. Accessibility. Accessibility. Accessibility in architecture refers to the design of buildings and spaces that can be used by people of all abilities. Accessibility in architecture refers to the design of buildings and spaces that can be used by people of all abilities. Flexibility. Flexibility. The ability of a building or space to adapt and accommodate different uses or changes over time. The ability of a building or space to adapt and accommodate different uses or changes over time. Energy efficiency. Energy efficiency. Designing and utilizing building systems and technologies that minimize energy consumption and waste. Designing and utilizing building systems and technologies that minimize energy consumption and waste. Sustainability. Sustainability. Designing buildings and structures with a focus on minimizing negative environmental impact and promoting energy efficiency. Designing buildings and structures with a focus on minimizing negative environmental impact and promoting energy efficiency. Environmental impact. Environmental impact. The effect of human activities on the natural environment, including ecosystems, resources, and biodiversity. The effect of human activities on the natural environment, including ecosystems, resources, and biodiversity. Building performance. Building performance. It refers to how well a building functions and performs in terms of efficiency, sustainability, and occupant comfort. It refers to how well a building functions and performs in terms of efficiency, sustainability, and occupant comfort. Site constraints. Site constraints. Physical, environmental, or regulatory limitations and factors that affect the design and development of a building project. Physical, environmental, or regulatory limitations and factors that affect the design and development of a building project. Building life cycle. Building life cycle. The stages a building goes through from design, construction, operation, and eventual demolition or renovation. The stages a building goes through from design, construction, operation, and eventual demolition or renovation. Project schedule. Project schedule. The timeline and sequence of activities required for the successful completion of the building project. The timeline and sequence of activities required for the successful completion of the building project. Cost estimation. Cost estimation. It involves assessing and predicting the expenses associated with the design and construction of a building project. It involves assessing and predicting the expenses associated with the design and construction of a building project. Project constraints. Project constraints. The limitations or restrictions that impact the design and execution of a building project. The limitations or restrictions that impact the design and execution of a building project. Building permit. Building permit. A permit required by local governments to ensure that buildings and other structures meet building code requirements. A permit required by local governments to ensure that buildings and other structures meet building code requirements. Net zero energy. Net zero energy. A building or facility that generates as much energy as it consumes on an annual basis. A building or facility that generates as much energy as it consumes on an annual basis. Passive design. Passive design. The design of buildings and structures to maximize their use of natural resources and minimize their energy consumption. The design of buildings and structures to maximize their use of natural resources and minimize their energy consumption. Green building. Green building. It focuses on environmentally sustainable practices in the design, construction, and operation of buildings. It focuses on environmentally sustainable practices in the design, construction, and operation of buildings. HVAC system. HVAC system. Heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, it used to regulate temperature, humidity, 
and air quality in building structures. Heating, ventilation, and air conditioning it used to regulate temperature, humidity, and air quality in building structures. Schematic design. Schematic design. Schematic design is the early stage of the design process where initial concepts and layouts are developed. Schematic design is the early stage of the design process where initial concepts and layouts are developed. Carbon footprint. Carbon footprint. The total greenhouse gas emissions produced by an individual, organization, or activity, measured in carbon dioxide equivalents. The total greenhouse gas emissions produced by an individual, organization, or activity, measured in carbon dioxide equivalents. Civil engineering. Civil engineering. A branch of engineering that deals with the design, construction, and maintenance of infrastructure and public works. A branch of engineering that deals with the design, construction, and maintenance of infrastructure and public works. Electrical engineering. Electrical engineering. It involves the study, design, and application of electrical systems and technologies for practical purposes. It involves the study, design, and application of electrical systems and technologies for practical purposes. Fire protection. Fire protection. The design and installation of systems and materials to prevent and contain fires in buildings and other structures. The design and installation of systems and materials to prevent and contain fires in buildings and other structures. Mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineering. A branch of engineering that involves the design, analysis, and production of mechanical systems and components. A branch of engineering that involves the design, analysis, and production of mechanical systems and components. Conceptual design. Conceptual design. An early phase of the design process where broad ideas and concepts are developed and explored. An early phase of the design process where broad ideas and concepts are developed and explored. Site plan. Site plan. A drawing used by architects to showcase the layout and features of a building project within its surroundings. A drawing used by architects to showcase the layout and features of a building project within its surroundings. Master plan. Master plan. A comprehensive and long-term planning document that outlines the development and vision for a specific area or project. A comprehensive and long-term planning document that outlines the development and vision for a specific area or project. Gross floor area. Gross floor area. The total area of all floors within a building, generally including both usable and non-usable spaces. The total area of all floors within a building, generally including both usable and non-usable spaces. Public spaces. Public spaces. Spaces that are accessible to and intended for use by the public, such as parks and plazas. Spaces that are accessible to and intended for use by the public, such as parks and plazas. Open space. Open space. A designated area of land or water that is publicly accessible and preserved for recreational or ecological purposes. A designated area of land or water that is publicly accessible and preserved for recreational or ecological purposes. Structural engineering. Structural engineering. A branch of engineering that deals with the design and analysis of structures to ensure their stability and safety. A branch of engineering that deals with the design and analysis of structures to ensure their stability and safety. Building line. Building line. The predetermined boundary established by regulations or agreements for constructing a building on a property. The predetermined boundary established by regulations or agreements for constructing a building on a property. Universal design. Universal design. Universal design involves creating products, environments, and systems that are accessible and usable by people of all abilities. Universal design involves creating products, environments, and systems that are accessible and usable by people of all abilities. 
Facade Design Facade Design The aesthetic and functional aspects of the exterior appearance of a building or structure. The aesthetic and functional aspects of the exterior appearance of a building or structure. Environmental Impact Assessment Environmental Impact Assessment The systematic process of evaluating the potential environmental effects of a proposed project or activity. The systematic process of evaluating the potential environmental effects of a proposed project or activity. Indoor Air Quality Indoor Air Quality The air quality within and around buildings and structures, especially as it relates to the health and comfort of occupants. The air quality within and around buildings and structures, especially as it relates to the health and comfort of occupants. Setback Setback The required or planned distance between a building's exterior wall and the property boundary or neighboring structures. The required or planned distance between a building's exterior wall and the property boundary or neighboring structures. Design Guidelines Design Guidelines Specific guidelines or criteria that inform the design process and ensure adherence to specific standards or requirements. Specific guidelines or criteria that inform the design process and ensure adherence to specific standards or requirements. Building Information Modeling Building Information Modeling Digital Process Integrating Building Design, Construction, and Management Using Geometry, Data, and Relationships Digital Process Integrating Building Design, Construction, and Management Using Geometry, Data, and Relationships Design Methodology Design Methodology the overall framework and approach used to guide the design process, including principles, strategies, and techniques. The overall framework and approach used to guide the design process, including principles, strategies, and techniques. Building Envelope Building Envelope The exterior surface of a building, including walls, roof, windows, and doors, which encloses the conditioned space. The exterior surface of a building, including walls, roof, windows, and doors, which encloses the conditioned space. Value Engineering Value Engineering A systematic and collaborative process that aims to maximize the value of a project while minimizing costs. A systematic and collaborative process that aims to maximize the value of a project while minimizing costs. Project Management Project Management The process of overseeing and coordinating the design and construction of a building or other structure. The process of overseeing and coordinating the design and construction of a building or other structure. Design Build Design Build A project delivery method in which the design and construction of a building or structure are contracted to a single entity. A project delivery method in which the design and construction of a building or structure are contracted to a single entity. Turnkey Turnkey A complete and ready-to-use package, including design, construction, and often furnishings and equipment. A complete and ready-to-use package, including design, construction, and often furnishings and equipment. Risk Assessment Risk Assessment The process of identifying, analyzing, and evaluating potential risks and hazards within a building project. The process of identifying, analyzing, and evaluating potential risks and hazards within a building project. Design Review Design Review The process of evaluating and assessing project designs to ensure they meet standards and requirements. The process of evaluating and assessing project designs to ensure they meet standards and requirements. Building Maintenance Building Maintenance The activities and tasks carried out to preserve, repair, and sustain a building's condition, functionality, and value. The activities and tasks carried out to preserve, repair, and sustain a building's condition, functionality, and value. Thank you for watching. If you liked our video and found it useful, please subscribe, like, click the notification bell, 
and share it with others. All of you have a great day.